Hello guys, welcome back, and today I'll be doing a deck profile for Labyrinth, so let's get started. <coughs> Break of your day. Oh! Proxy F and... Oh! Oh, this happened? Oh my... Okay, I'm Destiny here, Kaleski. Oh! Oh my oh. god! So, I'm gonna go with three Ku Klok, and then three Shandrag, and three Stovey. Uh, most people don't play the furniture build, but I really like three Ku Klok. Because you know that if you're going first, then you can keep him in and it's really good. But if you know that you're going second, then you can just take out two as in, you know, still pretty good. But even if you're going second and you have him in another, like, uh, furniture, then you can probably go, like, set big welcome or something like that. And you can still kind of go, like, turn zero epidemic on their turn. So that's pretty good. Uh, two lady and one lovely. It's pretty standard. A uh, lady is pretty good to like special summon out and you know that's really good and lovely is really good in the grind game because it lets you keep on setting like your epidemic punishment or compulse or anything like that so that's pretty good uh three ariana pretty standard kind of like the one card combo but you know it's pretty good let's add one labyrinth card from deck to hand three ghost spell uh i would play ash but in the format right now since cash tier isn't really in it it's more a lot of decks are kind of graveyard reliant so i think it's really good to have the ghost spell and that's pretty good so three ghost spell you can do ash too if you want uh pretty standard three extra more consistency i would definitely put one prosperity here if i had the space but you well, yeah so three extravagance one labyrinth labyrinth and one lightning storm Lightning Storm can be traded out for the Harpy Feather Duster, but I think Lightning Storm is a little bit more uh, better because the deck really sets a lot of cards, and Lightning Storm says any face-up cards. So even if it's like turn 5 or 6 and you have like 5 set cards, then you can like do Lightning Storm, and Labyrinth Labyrinth is pretty good. Um, yep. Uh, now for the traps, 3 Big Welcome and then 3 Welcome. The three big welcome is pretty standard, but I play three welcome because you always want to see it in hand. And you might draw like all your normal traps and no engine. So it's always good to have some sort of engine in there for backup. Yep. And three skill drain, pretty normal. Uh, some people don't play this, but skill drain is probably like the third best card in the deck. Because not only does it stop like almost every deck in Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's also pretty good in the format. So yeah. 3 Imperm, it's pretty standard, uh, really good against Pirelli and a lot of other decks like Flu. So, 1 Punishment, Epi, Daruma, Compulse, and a uh, Terror. Uh, Terrors and Compulse are like, you know, this, I don't know, a lot of people don't play the Compulsory, but it's also really good. Because you can, because it affects, it also triggers the uh, Lovely Labyrinth. And most of these, like the punishment does, epidemic, uh, if it's on the field, then maybe the Daruma, if you have, if they have link monsters, terrors will definitely, and compost is also a guarantee. For example, if they kind of do something like a mirror jig, and then you can go ahead and like compost them, then it also kind of, you know, affects their board, which is also pretty good. All these are kind of standard for like punishments, I guess. Most people or some people, Epi or D Barrier, the over tears is definitely in there, and Daruma is really good. The Compulse is kind of like the extra punch, or like if you have it as your fifth card, then it's really good. And yeah, so now that's about it. And moving on to the extra deck. For the extra deck, I play so we play the Super Poly, so Aquisti, Mud Dragon, two Entis, one Skull Knight, one Garura. These are pretty standard. Uh, these, the Garura and the Entis and the Skull Knight are all kind of like a, a punishment targets. So yeah, and then you have, this one is also a uh, punishment. Basically, if you send it, you can send the Garura too. So it sends one Wing Beast, Beast Warrior, or Beast from your extra deck when it's sent to Grave. And then you send the Garura. Oh yeah. So one D-Arc, pretty standard because you all your deck is kind of dark. The most important card in the deck is the Muckcracker. So the Muckcracker is like almost really good and it's a really cool combo but basically it you can target one monster in your graveyard and you can discard one card and special summon the card in the uh, monster in the graveyard. 
I think the card in the graveyard has to be a fiend. Let me read real quick. Yeah, so you target one fiend monster in your grave and discard one any special summon it. Pretty cool. One phoenix, pretty standard. Uh, we have the uh, Al Mirage and the Hita. So you normally summon the Al, Al Mirage off of like, you know, some Ku Clock or something like that. And then you link it, uh, you go Al Mirage, and then you summon another one. And then you link it for the uh, Hita. And then now you have Enema for those that don't respect the columns. And yep. Yeah. So it's pretty good. And that's about it for the main deck. So now let's go on to the side deck. For the side deck, it's pretty standard, nothing special. Three Super Poly is really good, uh, especially again, it's branded or anything like that. So pretty good. And we have the three Nib, and then three Droll. Droll's good against most decks like Pirelli and Runic. Also, the Nib is for like combo heavy decks. Uh, I think the Unchained can go uh, with the Nib. But still really good to have there to interrupt just in case they don't. And the draw against a lot of deck like Pirelli, Runic, or Flu, something like that. Now you have the Summon Limit. This card is uh, pretty good. I don't see a lot of people put it in their side or play it that much. But I think it's a really good card. Kind of like the Skill Drain. It's really good if you draw it. And if you don't, then it still doesn't hurt your deck that much. Because unless you have a full combo, then you full combo them. And then you can activate the Summon Limit. Because it sounds honestly pretty good. Uh, you have the TC Boo, two Gozen, and the D-Bear I was talking about. D-Bear is uh, probably like the second most important card in the deck. Summon Limit is the first. Well, actually, Super Poly, but like, so Super Poly isn't Summon Limit, isn't D-Bear. Gozen and the TC Boo. Gozen is the good against especially cards like the Vanquish Soul and, let me see, Ultra Geist. And flu maybe it can like interrupt them a little bit with the goes in, but the TC boo definitely hurts a lot of deck. So if you're going against the um, Vanquish Soul, use goes in. If you're not, then you can use like TC boo or something. And, like TC boo is a lot good against the flu matchup, definitely. Unchain, I think so. So yeah, these are pretty good, and that's about it. So if you guys like this and would like a combo video, then hopefully you would probably like let me know. So you just. <laughs> You let me know somehow, and I'll try and make it. So, I hope to see you guys soon then. Bye-bye.